Hey guys, I'll be streaming during League of Legends preseason over on Twitch three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, starting around 1 p.m. Eastern, starting Wednesday, the 8th of November, assuming the new champion comes out. And I'll also be climbing on an unranked account as we all learn the new runes. I better see you there. Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new episode on my journey to Masters. In this one, we're sitting at Diamond 1, 17 LP. Still got a ways to go. Need about, I believe... A Five or six. I don't know. It's five or six. I don't, I don't even calculate it yet, but it's five or six wins up until promos. I mean, there's only one way to do that, and that's just simply by grinding. Now, for this episode, usually I'm going to play for about four games per episode now up until the end of the season, other than maybe promos. If I win four in a row this episode, then I'll keep playing until I lose, essentially, for this specific episode. But, I mean, at the rate solgu has been going, who knows if that's even going to happen. Going to be playing with my Swain friend, as per usual. Going to be, you know, just, you know, getting me some a little bit of assistance. He plays the AP top, uh, champion top lane, you know, Swain being his one trick. It helps me a lot when I want to play something like Zed or uh, Talon mid lane, you know, don't worry about full ad it's nice and you know you have someone else playing with you it just feels better especially nowadays with solo queue and how tilting and just how high the emotions are in solo queue with this last week of grind but today is sunday guys still got a, just over a week left so let's not waste any time let's queue up and let's play some league of legends let's go all right guys the first game of this episode is about to begin playing is zed in the mid lane against what seems to be syndra now this guy seems to be uh either auto filled or secondary role he seems to be a a jungle main that's something to watch out for oh i guess that was something for me to keep in mind yeah, no armor Syndra. Very good sign. He has plus 5 MR. He's clearly an autofield mid laner. Got you, baby. I got you! Under control, we got this. Let's go, let's go. That's really good. Ah, I'm sorry. I really want to help you. I can't. He TP'd. He, he sacrificed himself to help me. I was. I can't help you there. I'm sorry, dude. There's literally all of them here. But I appreciate the sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, at that point, you're just dead. I'm sorry, man. A little unlucky, but... Get out of here, boy. What are you trying, man? Oh my god, my Q didn't fucking hit him. I'm dead. No, I'm not. It's not enough, yeah. What? That hit me? Are you fucking kidding me? That was just a super unfortunate series of events. I mean, we are essentially 3v5ing, but like, even then... The Vayne barely getting away. The Central Q barely hitting me, and my Q barely hitting the Gnar there. That was just an, a series of unfortunate events, I have to say. Alright, so this game, even though it's still definitely in our favor, it's it's not as close as we initially thought it would be. The Sinjur got a lot of kills somehow, so the game is a little bit closer now, but it should still be in our favor. And I think we should still definitely win. But he's up here. Why is he up here? Yeah, I didn't realize that. He, he does realize he has no ultimate, right? Like, I wonder... Like, why would you? First of all, dragons up. Second of all, you're you're the jungler top lane trying to kill me with no, with no ultimate. Like, what makes you think you can kill me? I don't understand. I guess we just push, right? Okay, we just push. Nice. Uh oh. Good little ultimate, man. I have no. I have no. Okay, thank you for that, Nara. Appreciate it, bro. No, that, does, that does literally nothing. <laughs> I'm sick. 
I mean, uh, the Nard does have to go on the back line. He has to CC the Kog'Maw stuff, but he's still behind, and Kog'Maw is so much stronger than him that it doesn't even matter. Like, he does all his damage. Probably does two, all his abilities, rather. Probably does 200 HP to us. And then he has to kind of it. Um, pretty solid score. The Rek'Sai, honestly, this is like what happens when the jungler camps me. If I'm playing like Zed or Talon and the jungler camps me, or not really camps me, but he's there at the right time, counter ganks and all that stuff, and it works out for us, like I snowball, man. I snowball hard, and I can put a lot of pressure up as, you know, Zed or Talon, man. A lot of pressure. But pretty good game, guys. Pretty good game. Pretty nice. I like it. Let's go. Get more LP. I want more LP. More. All right, guys. Next game is about to begin. I believe this is game two of this episode. Playing Zed once again against an RA. Pretty decent matchup. This guy almost picked LeBlanc, which I absolutely despise facing. LeBlanc is one of the champions. I don't like facing mid LeBlanc. I don't like facing Cassidy, and I don't like facing Anivia if I'm playing an Assassin. If I'm playing Azir, I don't really care about Anivia. But in general, I just don't like facing Cassidy and LeBlanc. Like, no, almost no matter what champion I'm playing, other than maybe Cassidy and versus LeBlanc, then it's okay. But he went RA, so we're good. I'm, I'm fine with that. No, no issues there whatsoever. But the thing that's a bit of an issue for them, however, is is Mr. Felfi over here playing Mordekaiser jungle with Courage of the Colossus. Not entirely sure how I feel about that. I don't think that Mordekaiser actually is able to proc Courage of the Colossus. I, I don't I don't see how he can proc it. He has no hard CC. Not that I'm aware of, at least. Unless this guy knows something I don't. I don't think he can proc Courage of the Colossus. So that's he's kind of trolling. Definitely kind of trolling there. A little bit of a Int Kaiser going on over here. But you know what? I ain't complaining. It's not on my team. And Ari has no armor yellows. I I'm definitely not complaining. She's got 12 MR. I think she got at me too. I don't know. I didn't really see. What is going on here? I'm assuming she ulted to try and find Twitch, right? Which she did, it looks like, so. Just simply ult her, get the kill. She's not getting any armor, man. If I'm gonna get any armor against Zed or Talon, like, you're just gonna die. That's just how the lane works, unfortunately. Like, you have to get armor. That's why facing Zed Talon as a mage is kind of annoying sometimes, because you are essentially forced to build a certain item. You're not gonna kill me like that. Gotta try for the REQ coming out. Okay, so we good. We can probably dive ball in here actually. I actually find this really interesting. How they're just pushing, they don't care. They're not rotating at all. Are they gonna are they gonna rotate here or are they gonna go into tower? They're going to tower, aren't they? They are going to tower. I don't get why this Lulu is so hard to kill. There's no reason she should be that hard to kill. It's actually insane. Yeah, now he's actually insane. Um, now, now he's uh, my, he might have been serious there. This is this is the meme all over again. Apparently, this Ari was actually trash talking me this whole game. But he got shit on. He's like zero seven. He's I think he went zero eight zero. So, I mean, if I'm bad, then I don't know what that makes him. So I don't know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. All right, guys, the next game is about to begin in this episode. I believe this is game three now. Playing Zed once again. We're feeling feeling good on him, man. This is going to be a Zed episode, probably. Just popping off, man. Just popping off. Just feeling confident. I don't know. Something about the skin, maybe. I don't know what it is, but just feeling good. So, wait, wait for this guy. Wow, that actually hit. Wow, I cannot believe that Q actually hit. Okay, 
The cogs ended up flashing to get the Gragas. Now, hopefully, the Shun has to dodge with Shun. Actually, I know he does. Yes! Sick fucking W, dude. Sick W. Was it random? Okay, because yeah, that was if that was actually planned. That was fucking sick. Fuck you. Fuck out of here. Kill me earlier? Get that shit out of here, boy. Alright, these games are clean, boys. These games are clean. I like this. I like this. This is a good night for solo queue, man. This is this is the night for solo queue, baby. Oh, you know I'm coming for that booty. I play that so poorly, man. Why do I? Why does it say I have zero out of 1965 HP? Wait, what the fuck? This Darius is running around with his ultimate ready to go with full stacks and shit? Jesus. Alright guys, and the next game is about to begin. I believe this is game 4 of this episode. Now I did, pr I believe, promise that uh, this episode I will play up until I lose, assuming I win the first 4 or something like that. So, either this is the last game of this episode, or we win this and we continue playing. So the goal, of course, is going to be to win. Unfortunately, this LeBlanc seems to be a smurf, so... A little bit of a scary matchup for Mr. TF here with Boots. Well, I think the Boots are actually pretty decent. He should be able to position himself well to dodge the W and the E of LeBlanc. Unfortunately, I ended up getting um, ADC, you know. Kind of sucks, because I've been playing really well on Z actually right now so I'm, I'm really feeling the Z. Unfortunately I have to ch uh, switch it up a little bit here and um, play the Tristana but that's okay. Okay, the Shen's showing. Nice double TP from my team, man. This is why TP is such a good summoner spell. I'm surprised LeBlanc didn't uh, continue with her TP there.
Okay, not bad, not bad. I ended up getting a kill on the LeBlanc. I'm getting the kills though, that's really good. I can... Trishana's a late game champion, man. I can snowball and be really strong late game. Yo, the Scion, man. I like it. The Scion support coming in hot. Jesus. I respect it. I want to say my W. I think I'm meaning my W. Dude, I'm 5 0 2. This game is like in my hands, baby. Let's go. Can we just do this? Can we just do this? I don't know what that blitz is trying, but my goodness, that was a free kill and a half. Give me that kill, man. I love it. Love that juicy shit. Yo, well, I don't know what's going on today, man, but even on ADC, I'm popping off. Like, this is just my day right here, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Give me that free low. I like it. One, we're one win away from promos, boys. One win. We're playing it right now. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, guys. And probably, actually, no. Definitely the final matchup, or rather game, of uh, of this episode. Because this is, I believe, the fifth or sixth game this episode. Um, because I did promise I'll play till I lose or till promos. And this is the game, man. This is the game. Either we win this and we get into promos, which is going to happen, I'm hoping. Or we lose, which I'm really hoping won't happen. But regardless, it is a loss. And boom, the episode is done. Either way, though, quite the, quite the episode, man. Quite the streak. I mean, we're just winning games left and right, boys. The fuck just happened? Literally, what just happened? Honestly, I didn't level anything up until level two because I don't want to have the E kind of mess up my CS in level one. So, and then as that fight happened and she flashed under tower like that, I kind of panic EQ'd instantly. So, it's not that bad though, but. Fucking lucky, man. I knew Tristana had no, uh, or rather, Kaylin had no what's it called flash, so boom, should jump on that ass killer. Good bubble. Man, the roams are on this swing, man, I have to say, are lovely. I don't know about that Nami ultimate, honestly, but it's not too bad, I guess. Good rooms. Four zero one so far. Yo, we're on a fucking roll today, man. Today is the fucking day. Holy fucking shit! How many shields did she get, dude? I fucked up. I know W. I, I, I she has that go.
that was a pretty long tower uh, range actually. That, that that tower auto attack was uh, across the map from downtown on this Fiora. Is that how it feels to play against Talon as an ADC? That's annoying, man. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like that. This, this Fiora is. Hey! Uh, well, never mind. Eh. Oh, nice kill on the Talon. Or whatever. If she can. Nah, she's dead. There's no way she's living there. Why? What? Man. Alright guys, that's me for this episode. There we have it. We're at 66 LP. Considering we started, I think we started this episode at like 17 LP, I think it was. It's not bad. We were literally 0 LP just two episodes ago. So now we're at 66. We were one win from promo. Unfortunately, I had some bad plays that game, I guess, but like Man, they had, they just had the better team comp and the better players, period. A lot of really bad decisions all like everywhere from so many things that it just there's too much to go over, man. It just it was so bad on so many aspects. But you know what? It is what it is. We had a big win streak. You know, you're gonna lose some here and there. So you know, the loss is finally here. But obviously the grind is not over yet. We're just two wins from promos. It should be two wins. I lost 21 or some shit LP. I don't understand how that's even remotely possible, but I did. So yeah, gonna have to, you know, play well next episode, guys. Get back into the promos because we're close. We're back to the promos. We're very, I mean, we're almost back to the promos, rather. We're very, very close. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, hit it with that like button, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.